People suffer from homesickness. Homesickness is like a sudden sadness because they are away from their family, country, and loved ones. In this video, I'm going to share with you what is homesickness, its causes, symptoms, and how I dealt with it. So stay tuned. My name is Rosanelle and on this channel I share with you my experience so a new generation can benefit from it and do better. Homesickness is the fact that you're missing your home, your family, people that you love, that you left behind at home. How would you know if you have a homesickness? The causes can be people going away for college, leaving your mom, your dad, your brothers and sisters to go away for college. In the United States, um, where I am, a lot of people are international students and they left their family behind. They come in this country to study for a few years. For some people, they left their home to go to work in a new country or some people just migrate to another country to find a better life. Some people, um, they live in this country, but they go in another state or another city to um go to college to go to work and at this moment you may or may not some people may not experience it but you may most people experience homesickness and um, there's the author of uh, this lady called mrs urges who said there's no shame in being homesick it just means that you come from a happy home so you won't you would not miss your home if you were happy there so if you're missing your family, which means that your family make you happy. If you're missing your country, it means that there are things in your country that make you happy. So now, what are the symptoms of homesickness? When you have homesickness, you would have lack of energy and motivation to do the things that you normally would do. Some people experience it. They can't get out of bed. Like me, I would get out of bed, but I would feel a lot less active than what I usually am because uh, it is hard to move on with life when you know that you cannot see the people that you love. So when I first came to the United States, I had this disease or this symptom, whatever they call it, this sickness, and I had this lack of energy at first I couldn't do anything I didn't want to get out of bed because I was scared of this new environment I didn't know what to do what am I gonna do where am I gonna go how am I gonna take a bus because it's not the same reality back home we don't have this type we don't have this system at home and then the second thing you can experience is a lust of appetite some people don't eat or don't feel like eating me I had this symptom too I couldn't eat or I couldn't cook because um, I come from a big family. We are a lot of people in my family. So when um, we have food, there's a lot of people to eat it. But when I moved here, it was just me. I wasn't married yet, so I would cook for me and my boyfriend. And then we would share that food, just the two of us. So it was harder to eat. And then sometimes when I'm eating, I'm thinking about my family away. Like, are they eating now? What are they doing? And then at night, I couldn't sleep because I missed them. I was thinking about my friends, all the jokes that we could have, what we would do in this moment. And this would make me feel really, really sad. And another thing is isolation. You tend to isolate yourself when you are homesick. You don't want to go out. You don't want to um, go into this new world because you're afraid of it. So you isolate yourself. You stay in your room. You stay um, wherever you're staying. You just don't talk to people. And the last thing that can go from this is depression. So if you're experiencing all this, you don't get ahead of it you'll have depression so I don't want you to suffer from depression so I'm gonna tell you what I did first thing I did is plan a visit I planned a visit I visit my family after a year uh, um, out I went and visit my family I spent two weeks with my family I enjoyed the time with them my family my friends I made sure I saw my friends not all of them but some of them i made sure i saw them i spent time with them and then i came back because at this point 
I miss them so much that two weeks with them was not enough but what I needed and I was glad that I had this opportunity if you don't have the opportunity to go and visit your family after a year after two years just plan plan like let's say I'll be able to see my family in five years but you know while you're moving on like you will see your family again it's not just I'm never gonna see my family again if your family is supposed to move but um with you or come to you where you are just long to that it will happen and be positive about it second thing is use the internet I use the internet a lot to stay in touch with my family and my friends and the reality of my country so use the internet to me and my family we have a family group chat and on this group we share everything um, from what we're eating what we're doing and then this makes me feel good because I can stay in touch with my family that they're, they're now just one phone call away one text away and I'm telling you I've never had um, this type of relationship with my family um, that close because now we know more things about each other than when we were living together because we're on the phone every day together you know and then it's just a text message and it's easier to say something sometimes when you're on the other line so use the internet stay in touch with your friend get their phone number and then be sure you communicate with them when you miss them call them or text them there's no shame at missing anyone in your family um so if you miss them text them and then another thing you can do is find something find something that will help you cope I mean something that will make you remember your country or make you feel better for me I found the church when I was moving to the United States I said that I wanted to go to a English church so I can practice my English and be more like a Americanized but when I moved here I went to an Asian church because I'm Asian and I am really happy about it because now I know every Saturday I go to church there's this community that reminds me of home everybody speak Creole everybody um, share the same culture so it feels like every Saturday I get the chance to get a booster shot at uh, my reality my culture and it makes me feel better and makes me um, deal with my homesickness better the other thing is accepting your new reality and remember why you're here so you're in a new country and a new state away from your loved ones why you're here well you're here because maybe you you're getting a, a degree maybe you're here because you're looking you're getting a, a better job focus on that and accept that your family is not with you yes you're away you are away from your family and they are home so be sure to accept this reality and make it your reality once you accept that you don't have your mom with you if you're a college student once you accept you don't have your mom here with you your daddy with you your older sister your younger sister your brother etc you will do better because you know that you only can depend on yourself while you're away from your family and if you are um, a married person an adult who left um, kids behind husband's wife be sure to remember that you are away not because you don't love them but because you do because what you're doing is for them for you first but for them too and you want them to have a better life so focus on that eat sleep take care of yourself so you can become what you want to become so you can uh, get the result of your hard work so it will be a shame to experience homesickness to be away from your home and then you don't do anything with that you know and you're in a new country you just waste this time that you could spend with your family in another country and you're not doing anything you're just sitting down no motivation so be motivated people be happy okay be happy eat sleep take care of yourself make new friends that will help you when you're feeling stressed when you can call them they can talk to you and if you're missing people at home I'm saying it again call them text them 
tell them you miss them share your share moments with them on the phone use everything that can help you stay in touch with your family i know it's not just me some other people suffer from homesickness please leave a comment down below and let us know how it was for you and how you dealt with it